today we're going to do something really quick, something really simple. We're going to make Mexican corn or elotes, elotes. Um, but it's going to be Mexican corn in a cup. Or I'm going to put it in a bowl. Something simple, non-bougie, something real quick. So, what you're going to need is some whole kernel corn. I got the great value kind. You just pop it in the microwave. You can use canned corn, whole corn, whatever. Um, Cotija cheese. You can get this from Walmart or Target. It's the type of cheese that you use. It is not Parmesan. Parmesan can be substituted, but it does definitely taste a lot different. This tastes a thousand times better. Um, then you're going to get some mayo. Do not use Miracle Whip. Use mayonnaise, any type of mayonnaise. Um, a little bit of salt. Some butter. Now, you're supposed to use the squeeze butter, but they didn't have the squeeze butter, so I got the butter spray. What I'm going to do is take the top off, pour it in. It looks... It's the same thing, it's just not in a squeeze bottle. And then I got some cayenne pepper. You can use any type of cayenne pepper. I got great value. It doesn't really matter. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get everything ready. And we're gonna go ahead and get started on making these elotes slash Mexican corn. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is take your corn. This corn is themed in the bag. The only thing you gotta do is take it, put it in the microwave. Um, I'm going to put it on for six minutes and let it go. Okay, so I got my corn in the microwave. I set it for six minutes. It's been going for about a minute so far. Um, after those six minutes, I'm going to let it sit for about one minute to cool off. And then I'm going to pop it out and then we'll go ahead to the next step. All right, so I'm back. So we did go ahead and microwave our corn. Um, I let it sit for a minute. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and pour it in this bowl. Okay. Alright, so we got all of that. Corn is done. Alright, now because this is Mexican corn hood edition, we're not measuring anything. We're just going to eyeball it. Put in as much as you want. There is no specific amount. There is no pre-measured amount that you're supposed to use when you're doing this. You do however much you like, however mix you want to do. So this is going to be my version. I understand everybody does it their way, but this is Mexican corn slash elotes hood edition. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of salt, not a lot, just a little. Boom. Then the next thing I'm gonna do, so since we don't have the the squeeze cheese, I'm gonna sit that right here. I mean the squeeze butter, I said cheese. Since I don't have the squeeze butter, I have the spray butter, but like I said, if you pour it out, it's the same. So I'm gonna pour a little bit of butter. It looks like a lot, but it's it's not. It's not a lot. Boom. So there we go. So far, we've got our butter. We got our salt. Okay. So the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this mayo. One second. I'm working with one hand. Okay. No exact amount. No specific amount. Just squeeze. So you just squeeze however much you like. This is a new container. I don't know why it's acting like that. Boom. So that's enough for me. Maybe a little bit more. Okay. And once again, you use how much you like. There is no pre-measured, predetermined amount. Alright. So the next thing, I'm going to take the Cotija cheese, which is a Mexican style grated cheese. I'm gonna just sprinkle me a nice little amount in there. All right, boom, that's enough for me. 
I know we like this a lot because it's just sitting on top, but you gotta think I did just use a whole bag of frozen corn. Okay, and then last but not least, we got our cayenne pepper. Now this can be spicy, so be mindful how much you use. Once again, it looks like I'm using a lot, but I'm really not. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and cap this back. Close that up. All right, so boom. There you got it. Your Mexican style corn elotes, elotes, whatever you want to call it, hood edition hood edition now when it's on the corn when it's on on the cob when it's the corn on the cob the whole thing you just eat it as is anytime you have mexican corn in a cup which once again this is the hood edition so it's the mexican corn in a bowl please make sure you stir it And there you have it. It doesn't look appetizing, but I promise you guys, it is delicious. If you ever had Mexican corn in a cup, you know this is how it's gonna look, but you also know how it's gonna taste. It is delicious. So comment down below if you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and like, subscribe to me as well. I might be posting anything on this channel, vlogs, reviews, cooking, DIYs, whatever. Um, but yeah, so bye guys, enjoy.